New documents show the Johnson administration was made aware of poor conditions inside one of the city's largest migrant shelters weeks before a five year old migrant boy who was staying there died. Now concerns over the conditions inside shelters grow as those housed by the city say nothing has changed. CBS 2's Serena Franza is digging into what's happening inside those shelters. You can see just how busy it is here outside this shelter on Halstead, and it is always like this. Every time we're here, asylum seekers that are staying inside this Pilsen shelter come outside, brave the cold temperatures so they can meet volunteers that are on the street outside. They say they need more food, more space, and better health care. An ambulance arrives at the migrant shelter in Pilsen, taking one of the over 2,000 people staying here to get help. We have no idea why this woman needed medical attention. We do know, though, this shelter has come under months of scrutiny over the conditions inside. Based on our conversation, once the administration was made aware of it, in writing, um, they went ahead and began to address the issues. Alderman Gilbert Viegas met with other members of the Latino Caucus of City Council this morning to discuss in part these emails obtained by CBS2 from a nonprofit organization called FOIA Bakery. Alderwoman Nicole Lee wrote to the Johnson administration on October 28th, raising concerns over things like exposed pipes, raw sewage, possible outbreak of illness, poor treatment by shelter staff. Brandy Kanazi, the commissioner of the city's Department of Family and Support Services, responded asking for more information seven minutes later. Not good. Uh, not, a, not enough uh, s supplies, not good, great amount of food, you know, very little shower capability, toilets, things like that. The basics are, are really very, are missing here. Migrants inside still report the same conditions. Part of the reason why volunteers like Chris Girardi show up every week to help. It's been heartbreaking. That's why we've now, uh, we brought a lot of clothing last week and we're bringing more next week. Today's meeting promised some vendor additions. The promise to employ local businesses to assist the migrant mission while monitoring healthcare staffing firm Favorite Staffing. They have awarded some additional contracts and have negotiated, renegotiated with Favorite Staffing. So there are some changes that are coming. Alderwoman Lee told us in a statement that though she appreciates how the city responded to her initial email back in October, she says she's still concerned about the conditions inside this shelter here. She and other alder people are asking the Johnson administration for greater transparency as this moves forward and as new protocol about what's supposed to happen inside shelters is revealed. We're in Pilsen. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. We've asked the Johnson administration if they have a response to all of this. We've also reached out to favorite staffing. We'll let you know if we hear back.